Would you like to create an animation of a city or are you looking for a way to perhaps create your own city? And do you want to use Google 3D later for this rather than old methods? In this video I'll show you an add-on that can do all of this. There's a free version and a paid version with additional assets. I'll show you the process of how it all works and an important trick for the shader that is created so that it looks better in Blender. For this I will provide you with a script that automates everything. So here we have the add-on. I will give you the link for the add-on in the description. I have downloaded the add-on and I have in install it in Blender 3.6.1 and in the user preferences under add-ons I'm now searching for Bloss, Blossom and here is the add-on. You will need to specify a folder later where all the stuff should be downloaded to and then for the paid version there is also an option where the assets should be loaded and here you will also find the API keys that you need to enter. You just have to create an account for that and you can simply click on the buttons here and it will take you to the websites to activate your APIs. That's really convenient. So for me, I think it took five minutes to get everything together. So everything is working now. The add-on has been installed. So now everything should work. So now I will delete everything. Then I will go to the add-ons panel and this is what it looks like. You have an area here where you can select the map. A browser will open and you can choose the area of interest here. I will go to Berlin as an example and pick out a small corner there. Not too big because otherwise it could take a long time. Then I will click on show selected rectangular and now I can drag around to choose the part I want to have. For the first animation I have took a larger part but for this tutorial we will keep it small. Then we will copy everything to clipboard back to blender and here we will paste the coordinates now as you can see we have the coordinates here we can specify what we want we want to have the google 3d parts later on but for example now i can say terrain and i can import it here now the terrain is imported i just have to switch the clipping end of the view to 100,000. Back to the add-on. Let's take some data from OpenStreetMap. That's the quickest way to get something. But as you can see, it's very generic and they are also missing some buildings. And because I have the extended version of the add-on, we can see some textures on the building. However, they are not looking very good and do not reflect reality in any way. So that's not really my thing. Okay, so let's delete everything and let's switch to Google Datas. I'm going to choose building with more details, which seems to be the high detail option. Then I click on import. So everything is now imported. It took a while and as you can see, this looks very much better. These are the buildings, all the 3D data as scanned by Google. A real eye catcher. From here, you can definitely do a lot. But there is more. I'll show you briefly what I did in the animation. I added a plane here, enlarged it so that I can represent the river as a shader. So let's rise it a bit and now we can insert a water shader. For that I would simply increase the specular in the principal BSDF, lower the roughness and adjust the color. And then we can add something to the normals. Shift A, add a new texture, a noise texture, then we will add a bump node, connect everything, we will increase the scale and lower the distance. Now let's switch to cycles, GPU. Let's add some HDRI maps. And so that already looks better. Okay, that's how you could do it. What we see here However, is a problem with the shading because the reflections are not being accurate. And the reason for this, if we take a look at one of these shaders, it's a bit of a special case here. Because the texture goes into an emission shader and because of that we don't really see shadows and reflections. And that's not what we want. Of course we can change it here, but the problem is if we 
look at the materials. There are hundreds or maybe thousands of materials. Select the object, open the text editor and paste the script, which you can find in the video description. I adjusted the contrast and brightness a bit, then execute the whole thing. And now it goes through every material, the thousands of materials and change them all automatically. And now it's looking much better. The contrast might be a bit high here, but we can still change that through color management. But now the reflections are correct and it just looks much better. And I have to say, the script only works once. So save the blend file beforehand. Then you can run the script again if the corrections for contrast or brightness don't fit. It's just a small script, but it works at least one time. But if you do it for a second time, you will get an error. Okay, so now this looks very cool. So what we also can do now is to add a cube to add some haze to the city. So let's do this. Delete the principled BSDF, add an volume scatter shader node and connect the volume. I will set the density to 0.008. And I will adjust the anisotrophy a bit more. What you can also do is simply duplicate the city to have more visibility in the back. Do that with Alt and D as it doesn't consume any performance. Maybe I should scale the water a bit more. And now we can see a finished city here. From a larger view, the HDRI might be visible in the background. For that, we can go to the world settings and I have used the gather add-on to add the HDRI, but in any case, you can add a mapping node to your HDRI. Here I have to activate the mapping node with the M key and then I will specify 0.1 for Z and this will lower the HDRI in the background. But uh, depending on the position of your sun, it could be that the sun has already half set and you will need to adjust that accordingly. Now we can add a camera, press shift control zero on numpad. As you can see, we also have to set the end clipping in the camera settings to 100,000. Then we can open a timeline, press I for location keyframe. Then we will go to the end of the animation move forward with the camera, maybe a bit lower at this point, press I again for location keyframe, right click in the timeline to set interpolation mode to linear, so it doesn't slowly accelerate but starts directly with the animation and then you already have a finished city animation. In this case I'm using cycle but it also works for Eevee. However, you will only get the correct shadows like here if you use the script. Link again is in the description. What do you think about this add-on? As you can see here we have a very cool result. It looks amazing. I hope you liked this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to the channel and I will see you next time.